This is Calvin Castine. We're at Memorial Hall in beautiful downtown Plattsburgh on the campus of SUNY Plattsburgh. And we're here for Section 7, Section 10, North Country Regional Play. We're going to turn the microphone over shortly to Rob Francis, but right now we're going to listen to Foxy Gagna and introduce today's program. Between Section 10 champion Norwood Norfolk Central School and Section 7 champion Northeastern Clinton Central School. The visiting team for this game in Norwood Norfolk. The Lady Flyers are coached by Mr. George Gain. Ms. Lisa Bond is the assistant coach. Number 12, Angela Purvis. Number 14, Liz Agnew. Number 20, Nikki McKenzie. Number 22, Kim Gravel. Number 24, Laura Barr. Number 32, Chrissy Passano. Number 40, Michelle Murray. Number 50, Jess Haggett. Injured for this game, Danielle Harder. And now, the Lady Flyers starting five. Number 10, a sophomore, Amanda O'Neill. Number 34, a freshman, Miranda Berry. Number 44, a freshman, Shauna Gall. Number 52, a junior, Jenna Greenwood. Number 54, a junior, Megan Labar. The home team for this game in Northeastern Clinton Central. The Lady Cougars are coached by Mr. Andy Landry. Mr. Norm Bono, Mr. Ron Lavard, and Mr. Dave Lambert are the assistant coaches. Number 13, Tara Dragoon. Number 14, Karen McConnell. Number 15, Ashley Burks. Number 21, Lisa Roberts. Number 24, Amanda Clark. Number 41, Haley Desero. And now, the Lady Cougars, starting five. Number 25, a sophomore, Miranda Harris. Number 23, a junior, Debbie John Lee. Number four, a junior, Ashley Walter. Number 11, a senior, Nicole Carter. And number 22, a senior, Danielle Preston. Your officials for this game, Mr. Lamacha and Mr. Parker. Mr. Roskowitz is the alternate official. Mr. Bruce is the official timer. Mrs. Gagnon, the official scorer. Mr. Goose Gagnon is on the shot clock. Mr. Donnelly is the athletic trainer. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for standing for our national anthem.
Alrighty, we're ready for basketball here at Memorial Hall. The Section 7 Northeastern Clinton Cougars against Section 10's Lady Flyers of Norwood Norfolk. Coming to this game, I'd have to say the Cougars are probably the favorite as they're sporting a 24-2 overall record. While the Flyers got here by way of an upset victory over Potsdam in the Section 10 Finals. We're ready for the tip. Trombley going for Northeastern and she wins it to Paris. Paris moves the ball up to Nicole Tardif trying to drive the lane and she loses control and out of bounds. And the Lady Flyers take over. If the Lady Flyers are going to have success tonight, they're going to have to try to break that press of Northeastern Clinton, which has done an excellent job so far this year in shutting teams down. And there's Walter in the face and Tardif gets a hand in there. Flyers looking to go deep to break the press here. They managed to get it up the floor. Trombley guarding. Here's the first shot of the game. And the Flyers have the first basket. Megan Labarge with a two-point shot. And Castine has the ball for Northeastern to Paris. Paris underneath. Nice pass to Debbie Trombley. Trombley can't make the layup. Puts it up again. And the Lady Flyers come back with the ball. Quick pass up ahead, nice play by Castine, but she stepped on the line and the Lady Flyers will have it underneath. The Flyers are looking to run the pace quickly here, early on. Pass out to the top of the key. Worked around the outside, here's a shot. There's another one, that's a two-pointer. Cougars move the ball up to Ashley Walter. Now to Tardif. Tardif in the corner to Debbie Trombley, looking in the middle for Paris. Paris puts up a shot, goes off the rim, rebound by number 54, Megan Labarge. She moves it up court to Amanda O'Neill, who dribbles through the lane, tries to go up, and that's no good. And the Lady Cougars come back. Nice long pass by Ashley Walter. Tardif goes up, no foul on the play. Loose ball. Here's a pass. That's intercepted by Walter. She's going to go in for the layup. She misses. Cougars having a hard time uh, early on getting those balls to, to fall for them. Amanda O'Neill controls for Norwood. She works it around to Labarge. Labarge in the corner. Here's a three-point shot off the rim. And she follows her own shot. Shauna Gall follows her own shot after a three-point attempt and puts the rebound back in. Cougars find themselves in a hole here early. Paris with a shot, and there, Paris puts the Cougars on the board. Passed up ahead. Flyers having luck so far with those long passes, breaking the press here. O'Neill with the ball. She works it inside. That's picked off by Trombley. She gets it to Paris. Paris up to Nicole Tardif. And she's called for traveling. A little bit of an extra step there. The Lady Cougars looking to be the second Section 17 to move on. Westport did earlier with their win over Harrisville. O'Neill with the ball. Worked down to the corner. Here's a shot. Off the rim. And that's rebounded by Walter. Walter moves it up the floor. She drives right to the basket on a nice play. That's rebounded by Paris. Nice move to the hoop and that's in again. Miranda Paris with a strong move to the hoop. Gets it to fall. Lady Flyers boxed in their own end. Quick pass up top. Work down at the corner. Here's another shot. And that's in. Miranda Vary is hot right now for Norwood. There's a bad pass. Cougars looking to get some help here. Long pass up court to Tardif. And Tardif called for a double dribble. Cougars having a hard time holding on to the ball right now. Maybe a little case of the nerves. Timeout called by Northeastern. Northeastern Clinton, 20 seconds. So the Lady Flyers take it in a half court. O'Neill with the ball. Walters on her. Off Walters' hand. She gets it back into O'Neill. Pulls up for a jumper. That's off. And Paris wrestles down the rebound. She gets it to Walter. Cougars moving it up quick. Walter drives all the way in, and that's in. Nice job by Ashley Walter. Drove the whole length of the floor and put the layup in. O'Neill with the ball.
Cougars looking to contain her deep in her own end. There's a move, it's, there's a turnover. Castine has a nice pass underneath the Tardiff. And she misses the easy layup. O'Neill has it. Looking to get it over. She does. Here's a shot. Another shot. Followed up by the Flyers. And Megan Labarge puts in that. Tardiff has it. This is a very fast paced game. Tardiff goes up. She's blocked. Very fast paced so far. Danielle Castine back on defense. She shies off. Passed over and there's a turnover. Shauna Gall turns the ball over for Norwood Norfolk and uh, Amanda Clark's going to come in and take Nicole Tardiff's spot. <laughs> Lady Flyers making some changes also as uh, Chrissy Passano checks into the game. Castine inbounds it to Ashley Walter. Walter has it, moves it to Paris. She puts the ball on the floor. Here's a shot. That's a little off the mark. And the Cougars are falling back to a half-court defense. Pass way ahead. There's an easy layup. Cougars are going to have to step up the defense a little bit here. Walter has it. Now the Flyers putting some pressure on. Paris has it. She turns the ball over. O'Neill, long lead pass up ahead. Here's a shot off the mark. Paris, or I should say Clark, tips it to Ashley Walter. Paris has it, working around to Castine. To Walter, to Paris, to Clark. Clark from the corner, that's going to be short. Back to Clark, she goes to put it up again, that's blocked. And Northeastern Clinton will still have possession of the ball underneath. 2.45 left to play in the first period. Norwood Norfolk with a dozen. Here's a shot by Paris that's off the mark. O'Neill has the ball. Pass it. There's a bad pass. Nice pressure by Amanda Clark and the Cougars will take over. The Lady Flyers making more substitutions. Nikki McKenty comes into the game. Pass into Castine. Castine back to Walter. To Castine. Outside to Clark. A nice strong move to the hoop. That's just off. Trombley with the rebound. She goes up. Clark again. Follows. Right in. Amanda Clark working hard under the paint. And we're going to have our first foul of the game. On number 10, Amanda O'Neill. Foul Norwood Norfolk, O'Neill her first, team's first. So the Cougars will take control once again under the basket. Pass underneath the Clark, Clark goes up, she gets rejected, Trombley's there, can't put it in. The Cougars showing some early, early jitters here as they're having trouble with the easy layups. O'Neill passes it over. And uh, Chrissy Passano gets it to go. Rob, this game reminds me an awful lot of the Ticonderoga game, the only game the Kilgers lost in CBAC. The other team was hot and the Cougars were cold. And looks like deja vu. Let's hope the Cougars can settle down here. Still early. Nice pass underneath from Clark to Paris. Paris seemed to doing, be doing most of the scoring right now as the Cougars step up the defense trying to create a turnover and Ashley Walter they are going to get called for a reach. Right off. Found Northeastern Clinton, Walter, first, team's first. Norwood Norfolk leading 14 to 8. 146 remaining in the first period. Passed up ahead. Miranda Paris with a steal. Gets it inside. Tries to get it to Amanda Clark. Norwood saves it. Goes to Clark. And she can't hold on to it. And it's going to be a green ball underneath. The Lady Flyers come down. Nice job by Ashley Walter to steal the ball. She's got a layup. And she lays it in. 14 to 10. The Lady Flyers trying to come back. And Walter quickly back on defense with help from Castine. O'Neill pushes it up the floor. Trying to get underneath. 
Here's a shot, and the Lady Flyers are hitting everything right now. Jesse Haggett with the shot. Nicole Tardiff back in the game for Danielle Castine. He's going to take a little breather. Walter into Tardiff. Back to Walter. Pushing up. That's turned over, and here's a quick pass up ahead to O'Neill. She can't get the shot off, and it's going to be white ball. Miranda Paris has it. She passed it ahead to Tardiff. Tardiff to Clark, back to Tardiff. She's gonna take a shot. That's off the mark. Miranda Paris gets it back out to Walter. Puts it on the floor to Paris. Pulls up, that's short. And we're gonna have a foul underneath on Amanda Clark. Clark, her first team second. I didn't see that. I thought she had possession of the ball, but I guess I missed something there. Lady Flyers with the ball once again. Pushing it up. Haggett has it to the corner. She puts up a shot that's off the mark and Paris hauls down the rebound. And the Cougars get away with one there as the uh, Lady Flyers couldn't control it. You can hear the crowd from Northeastern telling the girls to settle down. This is very uncharacteristic of them. Still white. Tardiff into Paris. She's looking for Walter, there's a nice pass. Walter drives the lane. No foul on the play. Debbie Trombley puts it up and she gets fouled in the process and she's gonna go to the line for a possible three point play. Foul with Norfolk McKenzie, her first team second. So that closed them in, and there's 20 seconds left as Danielle Castine gets ready to check back in. She's going to take Ashley Walter's place. Trombley looking to finish off a three-point play here, and she does. So even though the Cougars started out a little slow, they're still within three points after one, and they can't be all that disappointed with that. O'Neill with the ball pushing it up the floor. There's a turnover by Green. Paris grabs it. There's nine seconds left. She gets it to Castine. Castine looks up. She gets to Clark. Nice pass. There's Clark with the basket. So it's 16 to 15. A nice job by Danielle Castine to look ahead and push the ball quickly up floor. And the Cougars are within one after the first period. Okay, we're ready to start the second period. Nord Norfolk will inbound the balls, and I gotta tell you, the Cougars have to be, at least if anything, happy with the fact that they're only down by a point with the way they started this game. Nord Norfolk hasn't been missing too many shots. There's a rebound underneath, put back up, that doesn't go in, and it's gonna stay green. Nord Norfolk hasn't missed too many shots, and the Cougars have had uh, four or five turnovers. So let's hope they can pick it up a little bit here in the second period. Here's a long pass out to the top of the key. They try to get it, Nicole Tardiff steals the ball. She's gonna go in for a layup, and she misses. And Castine right there with the follow-up. Nice job by Danielle Castine to follow up, and there's, oh, and a nice job by Danielle Castine to get back on defense and cause a turnover. That's what the Cougars are gonna have to do if they're gonna have some success. Walter gets the ball. She looks to swing it out to Tardiff. Tardiff back to Walter. Cougars looking to slow the play down a little bit. And the Cougars, yep. First lead of the game, 70-60 underneath the Trombley. She can't get it to fall. And it's gonna stay white. So the Cougars haven't led at all so far this game. Take the lead early in the second period. Castine looking for someone. Throws it out top to Trombley, to Tardiff. To Clark in the corner. Walter has it to Danielle Castine. There's a good shot, just a little off. Rebounded by Clark, and we're going to have a foul, have a foul on Debbie Trombley, I guess, underneath. The barge takes it in for the Lady Flyers. Into O'Neill. 
She puts it on the floor. They move it ahead to Vary, to O'Neal. To LaBarge, back to O'Neal. There's a pass and Trombley intercepts. She looks for Walter. Pass back to Trombley, a nice pass and there it is. Debbie Trombley off a nice pass from Ashley Walter and she's gonna have a chance for another three point play. And the Cougars take a three point lead. That foul was on. Northport, LaBarge, your first, team's third. Cougars moving the ball quickly up court and catching uh, Norwood off guard a little bit, drawing the foul. Trombley finishes off another three point play, so the Cougars take a four point lead. 6.48 remaining in the second period, and they keep up the full court press here. O'Neill has the ball, she drives in, runs into Trombley. Tardiff slides out. Here's a three point shot, and it's good. Number 44. Shauna Gall with a three-pointer. Clark has it. She drives to the middle, lays it up, and that's in. O'Neill has it once again. And Nicole Tardiff a little overzealous on the uh, defense there. She's going to call on a block. Miranda Paris checks back in the game for the Cougars, giving Debbie Trombley a rest. O'Neill has the ball. She takes to the hoop. Paris slides over. Nice job by Ashley Walter to get back. Moves it out to Castine on the wing. Up to Clark. Back to Castine. She has it tipped. Ooh. Pass over to Walter. To Castine. Here's a shot. Off a little bit, Clark the rebound, she puts it back up, she misses, Paris, she gets fouled by number 44, Amanda, or Miranda Paris, excuse me, is going to go to the line, foul on Shauna Gall. Foul Norwood, Norfolk, Gall, her first, team's fourth. Cougars starting to settle down a little bit here in the second period. And it's uh, going to be a timeout called by Green. 20-second timeout called by Norwood. So Miranda Paris steps to the line for the tail end of her two shots. And Tara Dragoon is checked in for the Lady Cougars. Dragoon has been on a scoring tear as of late, lighting it up in the last two games. And Paris hits her second shot, and the Cougars lead 23-19. O'Neill with the ball, looking to push it up. She does. That's through the hands of Barry. And she lets it go, and the Cougars will take over. Dragoon into Walter. Swings it out to Castine. To Dragoon as the Cougars work it around the perimeter. To Paris. To Castine. To Walter, they're looking for Clark in the middle. She does turn around. Nats off the mark a little bit. And O'Neill pushes it up the floor. Nice move to free herself up by Vary. She's off the mark and Paris brings that down out to Castine. And she tried to get it inside to Clark, just a little too high. Norwood making a substitution. That's 22, Kim Gravel goes in for Barry to get it to O'Neill. Passed up to LaBarge. That goes off Walter's hand to Paris and she gives it back out to Walter. Walter to Dragoon. To Walter. Castine has it to Paris. She's got time in the corner. There's a shot just off. Clark gets the rebound. She puts it up and she gets fouled. And that's going to be uh, a foul on Gall. Foul Norwood, Norfolk, Gall, her second, team's fifth. So Clark's going to go to the line for the Cougars. Still leading by four. <laughs> Norwood.
Norwood making substitutions. 4.46 remaining in the second period here. Clark on her second shot and doesn't get that one to fall, but a nice job by Miranda Paris to get the rebound. She puts it up. She can't get it to fall. O'Neill pushes it up the floor. Nice pass inside and Paris gets called for the foul and that basket's going to count. Nice job by O'Neill to hit the open girl there. Foul Northeastern Clinton Paris, her first team's fifth. Labarge to go to the line for Norwood. And she makes it. So that cuts the Northeastern lead to one, 23-22. 434 remaining as Dragoon brings the ball up the court. She gets it to Walter. To Castine. To Clark in the corner. Dragoon over to Walter to Castine. They're looking for Dragoon. There's a shot and it's in. Para Dragoon. A nice shot from the side. And there's a steal by Castine to Dragoon underneath. She puts it in again. So just like that, the Cougars score four points. Off a nice shot and a hard working turnover by Castine. Again, the Cougars force turnover to Walter. But the Lady Flyers manage to get it back and they're pushing it up the floor. Pass inside. Good job by Clark. There's a pass that's intercepted by Walter. And here come the Cougars. Walter looking for Tara Dragoon, but she drives all the way to the basket by herself. Rebound, Clark. Back up. Clark again working hard. Oh, I thought that was a foul. Here's Castine from way outside, just off. Paris gets the rebound, puts it up, and it's in. The momentum is shifting a little bit here as the Cougars step it up. O'Neill has the ball. Cougars starting to settle down a little bit here. Labarge to O'Neill. Walter steps out to guard her. Passed over to 22. Kim Gravel, that's intercepted. The Cougars turn it back over to Dragoon. To Walter. Oh, and there's going to be a foul. Kim Gravel all over Ashley Walter, and she's going to get called for that as both teams make substitutions. Debbie Down Trombley and Tardiff over back over in for over. Clark and Castine. Nice job by those two. And the Lady Flyers, uh, Haggett comes into the game. Dragoon has it to Tardif. She puts the ball on the floor, runs into her own player. And uh, ref calls that off white and it's going to be a green ball. Passed over O'Neill. That's almost stolen by Walter. O'Neill does a nice job of getting by Tardif. She brings it in. Passed up ahead. And that doesn't go in. Walter with the rebound. And she pushes it up the floor. Pass underneath the Trombley. Into the middle. Tries to get her own rebound. She can't. Paris has it. She puts it on the floor. She's going to get a shot. That's just off. Cougars having a hard time with some of these shots. Getting them to fall here. O'Neill has it. She pulls up for a jumper. Misses. Trombley has it. And she's fouled. And that is the seventh foul team foul. Norfolk, McKenzie, her second team seventh. Seventh team foul on Norwood, so the Cougars are going to go to the line for the rest of this period. One and one. And Ashley Burst checks in for the Cougars. So the Cougars with a seven point lead with 2.14 remaining in the second period. Trombley looking to make it eight. Just off. Rebound by Paris. She puts it back up. And a nice job by Miranda Paris. And they get two points out of that. Lady Flyers looking to get something started here. O'Neill has the ball. Burtz is on her. Passed inside. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Referee missed a blatant travel on that. Nice job by Debbie Trombley to block that shot. And Trombley must have stepped on the line. 
And the Lady Flyers will have the ball underneath. The fans aren't happy with that call, or that non-call, I should say. Pass way out top to LaBarge. LaBarge has it again. And there's a 30-second shot clock, so that's a turnover for the Lady Flyers. The Cougars will take back over. Birch brings the ball up to court. To Dragoon. She takes a three-pointer way outside, and that's in. Tara Dragoon is on fire for the Lady Cougars here. She hit one from another zip code, practically, and nothing but net. The Lady Flyers haven't scored a basket in a few minutes here. They're looking to get back in. Working the ball outside. Here's a shot. And that's air ball. And the Cougars will take over. So the Cougars certainly have settled down here in the second period. And I think they're, uh, they get it to Dragoon again. She takes another shot. Just off this time. Tardiff and Burst trying to contain... Haggett, she moves it up the court to O'Neill. That's pass inside. There's a short jumper that won't go in, and now everything that was falling for the Lady Flyers has seemed to have ceased, at least momentarily. And Dragoon almost turns the ball over. Burst tries a shot, a little too slow, has it rejected. Dragoon grabs the ball for the turnover, is trying to get a handle on it to Paris. 22 seconds remaining in the period. The Cougars trying to get the last shot. Inside to Trombley, puts it on the floor. She goes up, no foul on the play. And with 10 seconds, nine seconds, and they turn it over, so the Cougars will have another chance here to end the period with the basket. Noah Norfolk making a late substitution, varies back in, replacing O'Neill. Tardiff plays it into Dragoon to Paris in the corner. She puts it on the floor. She cuts in. Rejected by Jenna Greenwood underneath. Three seconds remaining in the period. Cougars going to have to inbound this quick and look for the shot. They don't have much time. They try to get the pass off, and that's the way the uh, period's going to end. So the Lady Cougars do a better job of stepping it up in the second period, and they end it leading 34-22. Looks like we got a late foul. And the refs are going to have a little conference. The question is whether or not Nicole Tardif's foul was before the buzzer or after. And they decide that it was before the buzzer. So the uh, Flyers will... No, I guess it's not one and one yet, so... Okay, we're back here for the second half of this North Country Regional game. Northeastern Clinton leads Norwood Norfolk by 12. After a slow start, the Lady Cougars battling back to take the lead. Walter has it. She's going to put the shot up. That's off the mark. And the Lady Flyers take over. They get it to O'Neill. Walter trying for the steal there. O'Neill has it. Looking to get it down low, and Castine with a good job on defense. Knocks it out of bounds. 13 seconds left on the shot clock here for the Lady Flyers. They bring it all the way out to O'Neill. Worked around. They send it back out. That's going to be off the mark. And Paris with the rebound. Out to Castine. Castine. Get to Walter. Nice job, Ashley Walter. Then she gets rejected, though. And it's going to be a white ball. That's about the third or fourth rejection by Jenna Greenwood. There's a shot off. Trombley trying to get it. And that, once again, that's blocked. This time by Labarge. Castine will take it out underneath. 
7.04 left in the third period. Underneath to Paris with her back to the basket. She tries to go up. That's blocked. And a nice save by Labarge. She gets to Greenwood. To O'Neill. Castine's on her. O'Neill bringing it right into the middle. Turn around jumper. That's off. Trombley rebounds. Swings it out to Walter. She's taking it right to the hoop. Tries to go in. And not. And it's still going to be a white ball. Walter with a strong move to the hoop, but couldn't get the layup to fall. And Castine has it. She puts it out to Tardiff, to Paris. She has the ball stripped from her. She gets it back. Tardiff with a nice little head fake. Puts it up. That's off. Paris with the rebound. She puts it up. Nothing doing there. O'Neal pushes it up. Passed over to Labarge. Labarge with a short jumper. She misses. Trombley. Touches it to Paris. Paris to Castine. So neither team has hit a field goal yet. Walter with a shot and there's the first one. Must have brought him luck with that one. O'Neill pushes it up. Paris and Trombley are back. Here's the pass over and Tardiff gets called. Running in to the Norwood player. Tardiff with three fouls early in the third period here. And I'm sure, yep, and here comes Tara Dragoon coming in for her. The way Dragoon's been playing, that's definitely uh, not going to hurt him on the scoreboard. She's been lighting it up. She's hit a three-pointer and a, another field goal so far. Here's a nice turnaround shot that's just short. Paris gets the ball underneath, swings it out to Castine. Castine ahead to Walter, underneath the Trombley. She tries to go back door, they shut that down. Dragoon just off the mark. Paris gets her hand on it. And Castine does a nice job on defense, just couldn't hang on to the ball. But a nice effort by Danielle Castine, looking for the steal there. Oh, Miranda Paris came, in, came on a little too strong there. She's gonna get called for a foul. Foul Northeastern Clinton, Ferris, her second, team second. Flyers move it ahead. Here's a three point attempt. That's off the mark. Put back up, nothing there. Rebounded. Cougars try to tie him up underneath, and Debbie Trombley is going to get called for a foul. Foul Northeastern Clinton, Trombley, her second. Team's third. And that ball's going to be taken underneath by O'Neill. Trombley with two fouls. Paris with two fouls. Tardiff with three fouls. Passed up top. Here's a shot. That's short. Rebounded by Paris. Out to Castine. Ahead to Trombley. Trombley has her pass. Touched by a lady flyer and into the hands of her teammate. The Flyers working around the outside. And that's going to be a jump. Good job by Ashley Walter to get her hand in there. Still going to be green possession. 17 seconds left on the shot clock as the Flyers take it out right in front of their own bench. There's a nice job by Castine to get her hand on it. Dragoon pushes it up to Walter. She's looking for help. The Dragoon in the corner, out to Walter. Looking to swing it around. Dragoon has it for two, just off. And Debbie Trombley quickly picks up her third foul. She gets called for a push. And that's gonna bring Amanda Clark off the bench for the Cougars. A reminder, the winner of this game will move on to next Saturday to play the Section 2 champion down in the Glens Falls area. Here's a shot from the corner. That's off. And Walter has it. She's one-on-one -on -one with O'Neill. She takes it to the middle. Nice job by Walter. Just off, and Castine follows up at a bad angle underneath. Paris can't put the ball in. So neither team seems to be able to 
put the ball in the basket early on here in the third period. Castine underneath. Nice pass to Paris who has a hard time putting it from underneath. Finally puts up her own rebound. There's a pass that's intercepted by Paris. But she can't hang on to it and that's gonna be a green ball. Flyers looking to get it deep. Then they settle for the short pass. And they get the ball to their point guard, O'Neal. Walter works against her. She gets a hand on it, that's tipped. Here's a pass to the corner, here's a shot for the Flyers, that's off. The Lady Flyers finding it hard to score here. They couldn't miss the first period. And there seems to be a lid on it right now. Walter gets her own rebound, looking to put it back up. She does, and she gets the foul. Nice job by Ashley Walter to draw the foul and makes the basket. So the Cougars looking to blow this game wide open here as they lead by 18, and Walter goes to the line. So the Lady Flyers are gonna have to find a rhythm here if they're gonna look to get back in this game as Walter goes to the line to try to finish off a three point play. And she does. And that ups the lead to 19 points as the Lady Flyers come right back. Drive to the hoop, that's off. Passed out to O'Neal, she can't handle the pass and that's gonna be out of bounds and the Cougars will take over on the side as the Flyers make substitutions. Passano into the game for O'Neal. The Norwood bench is awful quiet right now. They know they gotta do something. Pass to the corner to Clark. To Castine. Paris has it. She puts it on the floor to Clark. And there's going to be a foul on number 50, Jesse Haggett, on the arm. Foul, Norwood Northworth. Haggett, her first, team second. Castine looking to get it underneath. That gets touched by a Lady Flyer player. They come the other way. Oh, double dribble called. Three twelve remaining in the third period. Cougars lead 41 to 22. Now we're starting to hear some Cougar supporters. Dragoon has it. Looking to get to Paris inside, but couldn't do it. And here comes Passanos. Gets it underneath. They swing it back out, and that one's going to be off the mark. And Castine grabs that. Looking to push it up the floor. She does to Dragoon. To Clark in the corner. Back out to Dragoon. That was close. Castine has it. To Paris. She puts it on the floor. She puts it up. Oh, in and out. And the Flyers move back out. Here's another three-point attempt. That's off the mark. Haggett has tried two or three three-pointers with no success so far and both sides make substitutions Tara Dragoon doing a nice job once again Castine and Walter bring the ball up the court for the Cougars Walter over to Burtz passed across to Castine to Clark in the corner. Cougars working the ball around the perimeter. Castine with a shot, just off. Walter rebounds, gets it to Paris, and she gets tied up. And I believe that's gonna be a green ball this time. The Flyers take it in, there's a bad pass, it's intercepted by Paris. She gets it to Burtz to Castine, to Burtz, Burtz puts it up, and that's in and out. Burtz gets the ball again, out to Castine, to Walter, to Burtz, nice look across, she puts it on the floor, nice job Ashley, Burtz can't get it to fall, Clark goes back up, nothing doing there. The refs are letting them play, that's for sure, as Walter gets back and does a nice job to steal it, 
She takes off for the other end. Ashley Walter hustling at both ends of the court. Loses the ball on the dribble. And Castine steals it back, ties it up, and that's going to be a white ball this time. Wait a minute. Well, I'm not sure what was said there, but whatever it was, the referee didn't like it too much, and he gave uh, Haggett a warning. She pushed Castine as she was getting up. Oh, Calvin just told me she pushed Castine as she was getting up, and uh, that obviously was not looked upon too nicely by the officials or the crowd, for that matter. Birds to Tardif. Tardif puts it on the floor. She gets shut down. Castine to Paris, inside to Clark. Clark to put it up. She's fouled, and she's going to go to the line for two. Foul Norwood Northport. McKenzie, her third. Team's third. Amanda Clark goes to the line and misses the first one. Cougars uh, leading here, 41-22, just under a minute remaining in the third period. Clark makes the second one to up the lead to 20. And the Cougar defense not letting up. Norwood able to break the press right here. Passed over, but Clark intercepts. She looks for Tardiff down the wing. Tardiff breaks in. Oh, and she took a few too many steps. <laughs> and there's a long lead pass that can't be controlled by the Lady Flyers. For everything that seemed to be going in favor of the Lady Flyers early on, they seem to have run to a brick wall as Clark puts up a rebound. Tardiff has it, out to Burtz. She gets called for traveling. McKenty inbounds it to Passano. Burtz is on her. Pass up ahead to Haggett. Haggett gets it underneath. Can't control the pass. That was Murray. Couldn't control the pass underneath. And the Cougars will get another chance with the ball here. 22 seconds remaining. The shot clock is off. And Burtz has the ball. She takes a shot. That's off the mark. <laughs> Ashley Burtz called for a push. Underneath her first. Flyers move it up quickly. Looking to score a basket here for the end of the period. That's Haggett. She goes in. She misses. Clark touches it. Castine has the ball. And that's the way the third period is going to end. The Cougars with a 20 point lead. Uh, stepping it up nicely here in the latter half of this game. They lead 42 to 22 with one period remaining. So you got to think the Lady Flyers are getting a little desperate here as they got us got some work to do down by 20 with one period remaining. And the Cougars, although not playing flawless by any means, getting the job done when they need to. Tardiff works to the corner and she's going to get called for travel. Clark took off a little bit before she had control of the ball. And O'Neill back in for the Lady Flyers. There's a pass deflected by Walter. Flyers trying to slow it down. Going inside, nothing doing. Heavy Trombley shuts the lane down. O'Neal way out up top to LaBarge. She dribbles around the corner, puts it up. That doesn't go in. There seems to be a lid on the basket here for Nor Norfolk. Castine dives after. She manages to push it to uh, Nicole Tardiff, who feeds Debbie Trombley in the corner. Tardiff has it. Gets it over to Walter. Walter puts it up. In and out. Ooh. 
O'Neal with it. She pulls up for a jumper. That's not going in. Walter for the Cougars. Throws it out to Castine who couldn't control and that's out of bounds. And the Flyers with the ball. They work it inside. Turn around jumper, that's way off the mark. And Clark somehow comes out of that scramble with the ball to Tardif. Back to Clark, nice play. Amanda Clark finishes off. A nice two on one, nice bounce pass by Nicole Tardif. 6.30 remaining in the fourth period. Walter doing a nice job getting her hand in there. Causing a turnover, there's three Cougars coming down over to Tardif. And a nice job by Nicole Tardif to get on the board for Northeastern. Castine puts pressure on O'Neill. She gets it over to Labarge. Labarge to Greenwood, back to O'Neill. They work it into the corner. Here's a shot, that's off the mark. Walter has it, she looks it to get it to Tardif. Tardif and Walter, nice pass over. That can't go, Trombley follows it up, Tardif underneath, and that's in. And the Lady Flyers looking to get a timeout here and they're gonna have to come back and, uh, and regroup here before it's too late. The Cougars leading 48 to 22, 544 remaining in the fourth period. And the Lady Flyers have the ball. Trying to get underneath. That's deflected by Castine. Castine bats it out of bounds. The Lady Flyers haven't scored a point since early on in the second period as Northeastern went on an 11-0 run to end the first half. And uh, <laughs> they've shut down Norwood since then. They haven't scored a point. They led 34-22 at the half and they lead 48-22 now. Norwood just can't get those shots to fall. And there's a foul underneath, so. Foul on Trombley. Foul on Northeastern Clinton and Trombley, her fourth, team sixth. Trombley picks up her fourth foul of the game. This is a chance for Norwood to break their scoreless streak. 25 in a row. <laughs> 25 straight points for Northeastern Clinton. And they still can't do it. And Greenwood finally puts Norwood on the board once again. And they almost had a steal on the inbound play, but Cougars will get it back. Haley Desero in the game now for Northeastern. To Tardif. To Castine. To Trombley. Cougars working the ball nicely up to court. To Desero. Nice pass inside by Castine to Desero. She gets a shot off, and it's in. Haley Desero comes off the bench, scores her first basket of the game. Coach Landy trying to get some subs in there. Turn around jumper and that goes in. That's the first field goal that uh, Norwood has scored since early in the first half. That was by Gall. Nice play, there's a foul as uh, Passing it was all over Castine. She was shooting. Foul on Norwood, Northport. Passing on her first, team's fourth. Desero inbounds the ball. For the Lady Cougars to Castine, to Tardif. They work inside to Trombley, has deflected. Desero, nice pass over to Tardif. Tardif hits from the corner. The Cougars have turned it up a notch to say the least. Pass outside, that's a three pointer. And it's good. Megan Labarge. Desero over to Tardif. To Trombley in the corner. They swing it back out. To Clark. To Castine. 11 seconds on the shot clock. Desero in the corner. She can't get that to fall. Castine doing a nice job with the steal. 
Can't get the layup to fall. She gets another shot, and that's in. Nice hustle by Danielle Castine to force the turnover, follow her own shot, and get it to go in. And that's the kind of work the Cougars have been doing all year to get the job done. And they definitely have done in the second half here. Norwood trying everything to get baskets here. Inside, outside, pass to the middle. Deflected by Desero. Tardiff wrestles the ball free from Greenwood. She can't control. Haggett has it. She puts up a long shot off the rim. Danielle Castine and Clark bring the rebound down. Desero looking ahead. She's going to slow it down now. Pass ahead to Trombley. Castine to Tardiff. It's a shot. Desero pulls down the rebound in the corner to Tardiff. She's got Castine open up top. Castine with a shot. Just off. And Tardiff, Cougars hold on to the ball, reset the 30 second clock. Castine inside to Trombley. Trombley with a strong move. Can't get it to fall. Labarge has it for Norwood to Passano. Inside to Greenwood, and that's going to be a foul on Tardiff. Foul on Northeastern Clinton. Tardiff for fourth. Team seven. Tardiff's fourth foul, and the Cougars making plenty of substitutions here as the all five come out, and Aaron McDonald, Tara Dragoon, Ashley Burtz, Lisa Robert, and Miranda Paris. Head into the game. Nice job by that five over there who are just sitting down um, doing some hustling. 2.26 remaining in the fourth period. Cougars with a, I'd have to say almost an insurmountable lead now, but anything can happen, I guess. Greenwood hits the first shot. And a little change of plan by Andy Landry as Paris goes in for. About a 12 second run. <laughs> Not even, I guess the clock was stopped because he was shooting foul, so. <laughs> and Greenwood hooks both her shots. Desro will take the ball in. Passed up ahead to McDonald, to Burtz. Over to Desero. She passed it to McDonald, who can't hang on to the pass. <laughs> Cougars are going to fall back into a half court defense now. Let them eat up the clock if they want. Passed up into the middle. There's a shot, goes off the rim. Haggett has it in the corner to Passano. Here's a shot by Haggett, just off the mark. Aaron McDonald pushes it up and she gets fouled in the process. Foul Norwood, Norfolk, Barr, with first, team's fifth. Desro and Dragoon take the ball in for the Lady Cougars. Dragoon has it to Burtz. To McDonald from the corner. There's a shot off. Burtz trying for the rebound. So if everything holds true to form as it seems like it might, the Cougars would advance to next Saturday's showdown with Section 2 champion who I'm not sure who that is exactly, but that'll be in the Glens Falls area. Long lead pass, and Tara Dragoon steals the ball, looking for some help. Now she desperately needs help, pushes it up to Desero, puts it on the floor to Burtz. Trying to get her knees, she does to Robert. She tries to go up with it, and she's fouled by Haggett. Norwood, She's going to get a couple shots. Second, 
Roberts off the back of the rim. 115 remaining in period four here. McDonald's up the rebound. Desero gets stuffed by the backboard as she was on a bad angle. And here comes Passano looking to push it up ahead. She does. And Haggett gets fouled as she goes up for the shot. Fouls on Foul Lisa Robert. Clinton Robert, her first team's eight. Haggett on the line. Misses her first shot. You can see the frustration on the faces of the Lady Flyers from Norwood as they, they had a good start to this game, but uh, then ran into a, a brick wall in Northeastern Clinton defense and a bit of a dry spell and quickly found themselves in a, in a hole. Aaron McDonald with the rebound, pushes it up to Dragoon. She's looking around. She needs some help to Burtz. Tries to get the pass over to Dragoon. That's tipped by a Lady Flyer player. Inside to McDonald. She turns around and lays it in. So the Cougars getting scoring from many different players tonight. There's a shot from way outside. It almost falls. McDonald has the ball, swings it out to Dragoon. Inside to Robert. Robert goes up and she gets it in. And I'm pretty sure just about all the, I think just about all the Cougars have scored tonight. I'm not positive. To Desero, nice lead pass. She can't put the layup in. And there's five seconds remaining. Four, three, two. Haggett goes up and that's in. At the buzzer, Haggett lays it in, but it's not gonna be enough as the Northeastern Clinton Lady Cougars win this North Country Regional 58-32 over Norwood Norfolk. And with that win, earn the right to travel downstate next Saturday and face the Section 2 champion, um, who we don't know who it is. But the Cougars, although not a flawless game, picked it up in the uh, later part of the second uh, period and second half and did a nice job of shutting down Nord Norfolk. So uh, that's the way it was here from Memorial Hall on the campus of Plattsburgh Ladies State tonight. The awards, Lady Mr. Cougars Ryan, will be the North Country Regional North Champions for 1999. And Mr. Rick Mays, Section 10, Girls Basketball. Our thanks to Rob Olympics. Francis for taking us through the, an exciting ball game. And uh, we're gonna stick around and watch Norwood and the Cougars get their certificates. North Country Regional, this is an annual Section 7, Section 10 event. And the Cougars repeat as the regional champions for the North Country. Uh, First, ladies and gentlemen, 7 and 10 are the two northernmost sections Norwood, in New York Norwood, State. Receiving regional certificates. Danielle Harder. Laura Barr. Chrissy Passano. Michelle Murray. Jess Haggett. Angela Purvis, Liz Agnew, Nikki McKenty, Kim Gravel, Shauna Gall, Miranda Berry, Amanda O'Neill, Jenna Greenwood, Mary 
Megan Labarge. And the Lady Flyers coach, Mr. George Gaines. And now introducing the girls Class C North Country Regional Champions, Northeastern Anthem. Once again, our thanks to Rob Francis for taking us through this ball game. Uh, Boys regional tomorrow the Cougars at Maxie Hall at Potsdam State. See you there. Dominated from the middle of the second half on and uh, actually picked it up in the end of the first quarter to come back and be trailing just by one. An outstanding game. They could have gotten down on themselves when they got behind early, but they didn't. And they played like a team of champions. So that's the way it was, March 8th, 1999, at SUNY Plattsburgh Memorial Hall. And on a sad note today, this was the day that uh, the Yankee Clipper, Jolton Joe DiMaggio, died. Jeff J. And the coaches for the Cougars, 
Mr. Orville Neto. For the Flyers, Mr. Bob Stewart. Could you please rise, ladies and gentlemen? Let's join the Bel Airs of Norwood Northport Central School singing our national anthem.